Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome on this uh, March 21st. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Good morning, everybody. All right, Michael, good to see you. Ken, good to see you. Phil, Tim, Lewis, good to see you all. All right. So, anyway, guys, uh, what a roller coaster we had yesterday regarding what happened in the market. We had, um, that went up big and went down big. And uh, I know. You know, that was more of our second protocol, but there were a couple of good stocks that did move yesterday. And uh, before we actually go there and talk a little bit about that, just want to remind everybody that uh, we have a big early bird special for everybody here. You know, once a year we do the, you know, we have our big event where we have the Cyber Trading Summit 2019. It's one of our signature events that we do. So if you haven't registered yet, um, we got the soiree. That's the day before. Two full days of trading. We have some guest speakers that are going to be here talking about options. Some guys talking about swing trading, but mainly all of us day trading together. I know some of you guys have been here two, three, four times. So um, if anybody's interested in getting into it, feel free to uh, go out there and register and uh, just talk to Education Advisor to tell you a little bit about it. All right. So uh, don't lose that opportunity to get the early early bird special super early bird special what they call it. that must be a new one I haven't heard that one before <laughs> so what are the dates uh the dates are not on this screen i don't know why but it is going to be on september in september i think it's the uh, the week after september uh let me see i think it starts september 10th 10th 11th and 12th there you go all right just so you guys know now um What's the difference between a blue carpet and a red carpet is that we don't use the red carpet is, uh, you know, Hollywood. Blue carpet is here for traders in New York. I guess that's where we got the blue carpet from. <laughs> a little bit of a different, you know, more of a traders than more of actors. So we go with blue instead of green uh, than red. <laughs> we don't want to be in the red. We want to be in the green, right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Uh, deficit is not our thing, Wayne. Exactly. All right. So let's talk about some of the stocks uh, that did move uh, yesterday because we did have a couple of things that had some nice little pops. We'll talk a little bit about them. Uh, first of all, let me bring up the MTFB trade. So you can see that stock um, took a huge hit. Let me just bring up and change the little chart here so you can see a little bit more. Uh, had a great, great pop right out of the gate. Had nice little Fausto flags right there. Went from 220 all the way to 420, and then it just came right back down. This little thing right here scared me a little bit right here for some of us that jumped in. But um, but if you got in early, you know, what do we always say? Just take the money and run, guys. You know, one of the biggest things that everyone has to realize, and you learn this by trading. You can't go out there and say, oh, my God, the stock's going back to 12. You know what I mean? It hit the gap. It filled the gap. It hit the resistance levels back over here in, uh, in December, and boom, the thing came right back down. So, you know, one of the big things that you learn being here at Cybertrain University is, you know, and being, what I, and being a trader here is that it's not about – the winners you got to learn from the losers okay so you don't make that dumb mistake again so i know a lot of us were were cheering and, and high-fiving each in pre-market but i know some people like oh me, okay now you know what i missed it at 250 i missed it at three uh let me pay four dollars for it you know i mean like guys i mean not every stock is going to be like the bpth you know we all know about the b uh the bpth trade Actually, she's down today, big time. But you know, listen, stock went from a dollar to seventy-five. You know, in, in one day, it went from sixteen to seventy-five. So you know, you can't look at this like this is the next one. Always focus on your day's pay. You get it. You know, being all it's what it comes down to is being at the right place at the right time. Solo, another one, uh, just pretty much just kind of like flatlined and right at, you know then right around 10 o'clock I had this nice little pop it went from 380 to 480 that was another little pretty cheap one Twitter you know being up steady all day had a nice little move from 3120 to, to, to 3220 and you know and she had a nice little pop going into the afternoons don't know what's going on with it but oh, I do know that they're getting sued for 250 million dollars i don't know if they're going to lose whatever but obviously it didn't affect the stock price so you know but uh once again twitter a little bit more of a faster moving stock a little more of a brand name got to be a little careful about that and then um you know obviously with, when when the fed came out with some news everything kind of 
kind of went to it went to shit basically you know uh but uh, you could see that uh, j nut when that news came out that one i think a lot of us did pretty well on that one 10 20 to 11 40. by the way you know who our famous uh gold uh, uh gold trader is is you know grant brockway by the way he just sent me an email for some of you probably haven't seen him here he's been one of our loyal students um he was a little ill and he's doing great. Just want me to kind of do let everybody know, you know, like I said, we, we care about all our all our fellow traders here in the cyber group room. And, you know, Grant's been always been a, you know, a, a great trader and a, a loyal, uh, loyal student, cyber trade university, been here for years. So just want to kind of let everybody uh, let everybody know. Yep, it's right. He's going to he's going to Aruba now. He had to go back. He had some issues, you know, with his heart and stuff. And he made him go back. But now everything's cleared and he's uh He's fine. He's going to go to Aruba. He'll be checking back in soon. So listen, the beauty about this job is, you know, you don't have a boss. You can come and go when you please. You can do what you want um, and you can still jump in and make money. And the whole point about us as a team is that we work together like a team. So anybody could jump in and just say, hey, what's going on? Hey, guys, how you been? Did I miss anything? And, you know, and everyone's like, get your ass in here, dude. This thing is moving. We got to jump in, make some money on the stock. So you could just pick up right where you left off. So anyway, where we left off from yesterday, let's all start off with the SPI trade right here. Uh, this stock, listen, great pre-market trading. Stock just popped right now again. You could see it right there. Everybody, um, let me just lower the pre-market trading. But listen, the stock at 8:30 did its 8:30 move from three bucks all the way to five. Now it's kind of holding 550 to six, and boom! Look at it, it almost went to seven. So you're talking about the stock right now is trading right around these price less levels. It's going to test some resistance levels right there. Um, let me just go over here where the matrix is and just show you what got going on right there. Uh, why is not moving over? So anyway, we're getting a lot more buyers. Look at that, 10,000 share buyer just showed up right here on the bid. Not that many sellers. What does that tell you guys? Supply and demand. Follow the money. OSS, another one that's moving quite uh, a little nicely this morning too, up 46%. Another little cheapy stock. You know, we're always favorite. You know, listen, stock right here, it's got resistance around 450. Looks like it's got some good move left. Great orders, 3,000 share bids, a lot of hundreds over there. Once again, follow the money, right? SCON, another one that's moving. But um, the only thing, the reason why I'm bringing this one up, it's not up a lot. She she popped a little bit earlier and she backed off. But, um, you know, she's got you know, the only concern I have, she's got a big spread on it. She's not up a lot, but 79,000 shares did trade. The stock was a $14 stock, got destroyed. Could have learned that all just by day trading it. You know, listen, you want, like I tell everyone, you want to be a good swing trader, you damn well better learn how to day trade first because you don't know what happens over the course of the day in a position. You could lose it all tomorrow. So that's why one of our rules is never hold positions overnight. CFMS. Another one that's moving, uh, been really steady lately. This stock has just been moving really, really comfortable. Uh, dollar stock almost at 250 in the last couple of days. You know, you could see it. Great day trade from a day trade. Now it became a swing trade. Uh, only concern I have right now is it's going to be testing some resistance levels. It broke through this resistance right here, uh, which we saw right around 250. But now we got three dollars. A lot of orders out there, so don't worry about this stock. Great little level one stock. Everyone can afford to trade it. You're fine. Now the big news is this one right here is the BIIB, Biogen. Stock is getting destroyed, down 27% today. Uh, stock is literally almost down 100 points. Well, guess what? We're not trading it, okay? Why do I got to go out and trade a $230 stock, right? I could go trade, I could trade SPI, you know, up 140, 42%. It's almost 100 times less money, right? And at the end of the day, it's all about making money. So I'm only bringing it up because I'm watching it on, you know, the financial stations are talking about it. You know, I follow other people in the industry, you know, what they're looking at, other schools and are talking about this, you know. And you know what their excuse is? You know what they're saying? Oh, don't worry about it. You don't need – who says you got to spend $230? Trade the options, okay? Yeah, once again, you know my motto. That's a poor man playing a rich man's game. If you can't afford to trade the stock, then you can't afford to trade, okay? Don't try to take shortcuts, all right? So anyway, we're not trading the stock. But if you are a level five trader here and, and you're one of the traders that make, you know, average 1000 you know, 2500 a day, maybe this is something up your alley. But once again, SPI – has been doing a lot hell of, a lot better for us than the other ones. Yep. SPI, right? There we go, Ben. Up 150%. That's the way to go. Any anything I'm missing that I did not call out everybody? 
think we pretty much got them got the list. All right, so what's once again? I know we have a by by uh, by the way today we do have an open house at 12 o'clock. So hopefully everybody you know will be there. Um, you know, we're going to try to recruit some more traders. Once again, not everyone really qualifies to be a trader at CTU. So we let them sit in the room. We talk to them. And then we'll just tell you if it's for you or not. Because remember, you know, we, we get hundreds of people that register here to be part of CTU's program. And 90% of them, 95% of them, we do not qualify. Uh, they want to. But at the end of the day, I just want you to understand it. it it's not worth it for me. It's more, more or less not worth it for you to be part of a team if you really don't qualify. Because trading, I know everybody wants to do it, but it doesn't mean everybody should. All right. I know it's a free country, but it doesn't mean it, it, you're free to blow money either. So um, so if you want to come and meet us, once again, if you watch this YouTube, be happy to be there. Find out the real truth. And then everybody want to know a little bit more about what everybody has to say. Remember, you were there once before. So go out there and uh We'll uh, see what well the people have to say, and you know, and kind of see where where we started. Anyway, SPI is doing great, so everybody's doing good. All right, good luck, everyone. Happy trading. See you back at 2:30, and don't forget classes going on today. And also, don't forget about the super early birds discount on the Cyber Trading Summit that starts on September. Okay, guys, good luck, everyone. Happy trading.